but will not stop talking about a new show on Netflix, and it is a true story about a local pharmacist. Yeah, Netflix released The Pharmacist just last week, and it's already getting attention all over the world. Erica Ferrandel sat down with a man behind the series today in his Mandeville home. I'm Dan Schneider, and I'm a pharmacist. I really thought that maybe I could make a difference, first in my local community, but maybe on a bigger scale. I, I, I kind of envisioned what's happening now and it's happening. People all across the world are binge watching a new four part docu-series on Netflix. It's all about Dan Schneider, the pharmacist. About what happened to me. And it all started as a fight for justice. He loved John Lennon. He loved the song Imagine. Schneider was a pharmacist in St. Bernard Parish. In 1999, his 22 year old son Danny Jr. was shot and killed trying to buy crack cocaine in the Ninth Ward. We didn't know until he was dead. Schneider needed answers. And I just felt like I had to step in. He said police weren't getting anywhere, so he walked to the streets of the Ninth Ward himself, determined to find the person who killed his only son. This is a lot of materials. He now lives in Mandeville, where his home is still full of tapes, notes, and material that helped him solve his son's murder. Hundreds of hours of taping. And he realized he wasn't the only parent dealing with the loss of a child to drugs. We represent 400,000 parents that have lost kids. and and nobody saw the agony. We're carrying that torch and we want to try to do something. In The Pharmacist, you'll see Schneider go to extremes to expose corruption behind the opioid addiction crisis. He spoke with Eyewitness News during that time. It's a crisis unlike I've ever seen. I've been in pharmacy for 25 years. Now because of his platform on Netflix, he's reaching millions. What do you think Danny would say about you doing all of this to try and create some change? My son, he'd be really proud. He would really be proud, the type of kid that he probably would say, Dad, I'm sorry I screwed up. I'm sorry I hurt you, Mom, and everybody. Didn't want to hurt anybody. But uh, if it does some good, Daddy, if it does some good, Dad, I, uh, I'm proud of it, Dad. Go, go for it. This drug continued to kill. And now the world is being exposed to his fight to save lives. In Mandeville, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. Schneider said one of the best outcomes of this Netflix show is that people from all over, all over the country and world are asking him what can be done to battle the opioid epidemic. He says he has ideas and wants to continue to work with experts to continue to fight.